we just got the best card in the set from a twenty dollar costco tin so we got uh we got scammed we got scammed a little bit welcome back to the channel my name is pokey fang and welcome to the fang gang i've actually tried to make a couple of these costco videos since the last one and every single time i go to costco they've been basically cleaned out somebody's been coming in and buying up the pallets so hopefully there's some stuff left when we get there and if there is you best believe we're going to pick some stuff up and we're going to rip some packs today so i gotta get the costco card ready oh no oh no somebody please explain to me how we have christmas decorations already in september this is not spooky all right this is more my speed right here we got little zubats here little pump caboos some of these pump caboos and gore guys look like they might have just lost the battle. Yeah, I'm not really like big into candy anymore as an adult, but just seeing this stuff brings back memories of being a kid. You guys know, as much as I love spooky stuff, I love horror too. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to watch me play some scary games and get the crap scared out of me on YouTube at some point. Some Pokemon cards around here somewhere. They're over here by the toys somewhere. Usually kind of hidden. The Squishmallows are still here. They definitely didn't have any Pokemon ones last time we were here. We got some kind of weird ear. A nice imposter oracario now we're talking 35 dollars for 120 packs of these trick or trades but these are actually the ones from last year so it's interesting that these are what's out right now maybe they don't have these bulk style ones for this year are my eyes deceiving me or is there a full palette of these back to school bundles in here well, i gotta get at least one of these see what's inside i think these might actually still be the same lunch boxes that could have the silver tempest god packs in them so i'm gonna grab a second one just in case i should probably figure out how much these things are actually going to cost me oh what's that 19.99 seven dollars off from 26.99 no wonder people buy the full pallets and of course i had to grab one more because you guys know how it is all right let's see how much these things actually ring up for 26.99 credit $19.99 for these things. That's an incredible deal. Got everything packed up nice and snug so it won't get damaged on the ride home. Back to Fang Manor. That's definitely not going in the sealed collection. I ended up getting three of these two pack uh, little, I don't even know what to call these. Let's call these back to school bundles because they do have the lunchbox and the pencil case in them. Pretty cool. And luckily they're packaged pretty well because I certainly dropped one. I actually dropped one coming out of the car too. So hopefully nothing is damaged inside. We're gonna jump over to our card cam here. That's not on yet, all right, please hold. All right, there we go, card cam is up and we're doing stuff. Okay, here we have our two pack back to school bundles from Costco. These things were an insane price. These were actually listed at Costco for $26.99, but uh, online on Costco.com, I think they're actually $28.99, but they're both $7, $7, I almost said 7%, $7 off, whether you get them online or in the store. So getting them in the store is actually a much better deal. So if you are gonna go looking for these things, definitely check that out. I have no idea what packs are in these. Oh man, this one's really stuck in here, okay. See, a seven dollars off of a $26.99 product puts this at what $19.99. That's an incredible deal. Uh, as far as a per pack basis, the math will show up on the screen right now. There you go, there's the math. And uh, we are gonna see what's inside of each one of these things real quick because uh, I honestly don't know. They've repacked and re reprinted and all that stuff with these uh, these tins here for a couple of times now, a couple different waves. And it looks like we got Silver Tempest, okay. And a Lost Origin, not bad. Two sets from the late Sword and Shield with the trainer gallery in there, making it a lot better pull ratio than early Sword and Shield. So definitely some pretty good packs. I know that like older packs seem like they should be worth more, but honestly the the, chances of getting a good hit out of one of these packs is much higher than something like a Vivid Voltage or even an Evolving Skies. All right, let's see what's inside of the chest here. I'm assuming this is the same chest that I saw at Target recently. I don't know if you guys saw my short 
I'm heading into my local Target right now because there's a rumor that these tins right here could potentially have guaranteed hits in the Silver Tempest packs. So we're picking up two of them and we're gonna check them out right now. We got four packs total of Silver Tempest. Code cards are of course going out to the Fang Gang. And I'm just grabbing the reverse and rare slots out of every single one of these so we can flip them over all at the same time and find out if we ended up getting these Silver Tempest God Packs. So here comes the moment of truth, guys. We're gonna find out right now. And we got one hit. Ah, uh, no God Pack. So we got the Voltorb here and a Hisuian Sneasel as our promo cards. I'm just gonna leave those in the plastic. We're going straight to the packs here, which should be two Silver Tempest. Sorry, this is all upside down. Two Silver Tempest, Astral Radiance, Astral Radiance, and a Fusion Strike. <clears throat> I think that's the same format that was actually in the Target ones. We're gonna go ahead and hit up. Let's see what order we want to do these things in. Gotta put the Silver Tempest together, but this particular Silver Tempest is really really beat up so and super loose definitely seems like there's like less than 10 cards in here we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled when we open this one up because there's definitely something sus going on with that all right let's go straight to fusion strike one of my favorite sets i know i make that joke every time uh, about kill trainer ryan because he's got the obviously the fusion strike call we'll call it nope okay no code card no code card air card air pack right off the bat okay one two three four Let's see if that works. That's very strange, guys. I don't know what's going on. All right, at least the pack trick worked, but there definitely was no code card in that uh, in that pack. Boom, okay. We're starting off with the Fire Energy. We got a Trevenant, Exadrill, Judge, Meowth, Dewpiter, Vullaby, uh, Chewdle, Phalanx, Simapore, Reverse, and a Pikachu V. Okay, so we start off with a, uh, a hit right there out of our Fusion Strike. Don't be sleeping on that fusion strike, I'm telling you right now. Great set. All right, so do we have a code card? Yes, we do. Code cards are going out to the Fang Gang all throughout the video as usual. All right, four to the front because we are still in Sword and Shield. Good luck, Ghosties. Psychic Energy, if you know, you know. Hippodon, Dartrix, Glammeow, Puchiana, Swinub. I think I see something in the back there, guys. I think I see something in the back of our Astral Radiance pack. Petalil, Reggie Lecky, so it's not a trainer gallery hit, which means, honestly, from that edge, it's looking like it might be something rainbow. Let's see what we got. Ooh, Cardenia's Vigor, I will take it. That is a really nice card, and honestly, pretty clean, look at that. That is probably the best centering I've seen out of a Sword and Shield card. So what is, what is wrong with it? What's wrong with it? Is the back still good? The back is clean, you guys. Ooh, that is a beautiful card. That is getting sleeved up in the vault sleeve. And I'm gonna hit that with a semi-rigid as well because that is definitely up for consideration to get graded because that is a really nice card. I know a lot of people that like those full art trainers and especially those rainbows now that they are no longer uh, in the Pokemon canon, the TCG canon. We're no longer doing rainbows uh, for some reason. All right, code card coming up, going out to the Fang Gang. Another Astral Radiance. One, two, three, and four. To the front, Metal Energy. You guys know, Metal Energy. And uh, speaking of Metal Energy, I do have a new merch uh, line coming out for Pokemon TCG collectors. And uh, it's been a lot of work, definitely some delays. I wanted it out a lot earlier but it is coming and uh, there's gonna be a metal energy line. It's not what you think. It's gonna be a totally different thing than whatever it is that you're thinking. It's very strange and I hope you're, you're gonna like it. Registeel and a mill tank. Isn't that a deep pocket monster? Isn't Pat Flynn have some sort of thing with mill tank? Some kind of mill tank song and dance situation. All right, Silver Tempest. We got those three. We got that super weird one. We gotta check out right after this Lost Origin pack. Still have not pulled uh, the ultimate pull from Lost Origin, and probably still never will. That is the uh, the Giratina alternate art. Still have not pulled that card. Uh, I did receive it. Ooh, good luck, Ghosties again in the building. Hashtag good luck, Ghosties in the comments if you know. Obama Snow, Brydon, Binion. But yeah, still have not pulled that card. I did get it as a gift for I think Father's Day from my family, but uh, have not pulled it myself. Inke, Vesuvian Basculin, Cedra, nothing in the trainer galleries, slot right there, and the Ariados non-hollow rare. 
I do not miss those non-hollow rares. I don't know about you guys. I don't miss them. I don't miss them one bit. All right, let's see. Code card, normal code card. There we go. Silver Tempest going out to the Fang Gang. Boom, four to the front. Darkness energy. It is that time. It's that time of year. Spooky season is among us. I'm planning something really cool. Hopefully I'm able to do it. Uh, I don't want to make any promises, but I have some really good ideas for stuff to do for spooky season on this channel. The Dene, Silver Tempest, and a Guard of War. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off. It's going to take some help from some people that are also very busy. And uh, I'm really hoping that we can make it happen because I think it would be really epic. Super legendary. One, two, three, and four. To the front. Leaf. Energy. Crock Rock, Bahiam, and next up we have our pack that is super weird looking. Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Paulucha, Matang. Man, there's no, there's no trainer galleries in this one. And a Fioni. So now we have our super weird. I wish I could explain to you guys through video a little bit better how loose the plastic is, or the plastic, the mylar, the wrapper is on this pack, it's so strange. It definitely feels like there's less than 10 cards in here. So we're gonna count them. We're gonna count them up for sure, okay? It looks like there's 10 cards though. It looks like there's 10 cards. Let's see. Code card going out to the fan gang. We've got one, two, three, four to the front. No errors so far, okay? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, there it is. Not counting the energy, that's 10. All right, so we got our next one here, our next two pack, back to school bundle. Could you imagine, I don't know about you guys, when I was a kid, Pokemon cards were really hard to come by. I basically had to save up like all my birthday money and any sort of like money I would get for taking out the garbage or anything weird like that and save that up and try to get packs. We used to be able to get unlimited base set, unlimited packs from Walmart near us for I think $2 a pack. They kept them behind the counter. Yeah, this is so hard to get out, but we used to ride our bikes all the way there, probably like two miles uh, on the side of like a major uh, high traffic road. Uh, definitely don't recommend that. If you're a kid watching this, just ask for a ride. And that plastic is so loud. All right, this time I'm just gonna go straight through. We're gonna grab our packs. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Okay, so our first tin was actually an error tin because I didn't even realize this, but there was supposed to be a Growlithe in the middle of it. This was our first one right here. So we got uh, we got scammed. We got scammed a little bit. We got scammed a little bit. They stole our card. Oh yeah, that's right. There are code cards in these. So go ahead and grab that. Uh, but yeah, it looks like they stole, somebody stole our Hisuian Growlithe off the factory, factory line, I'm assuming. But we'll start with Fusion Strike. All right, come on now. Code cards going out to the Fang Gang. One, two, three, and four. To the front, we got that wet energy. All right, Alessa Sparkle, Dreadnought, Shauna. We got Q-Fant, Impidimp, Snom, Onyx. Gumi and a Palisand, Haunted Sandcastle. But those non hollow rares, man, they are rough. They make opening these sets super rough. There you go. One, two, three, four fronts. I might stop doing the pack trick at some point during this, to be honest. Cedra, Seviper, Jinx. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you even like the pack trick or, is, or for modern, is that really like not a big deal? Like, I, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, Hisuian. Sneasler Radiant card and a Hollow Machamp. Uh, what was I saying? I'm pretty sure that the pack trick was invented to uh, build the suspense when opening like base set packs or something really like crazy and outrageous. And we'll just put our pulls over here before I forget because obviously I already already started to. All right, Astral Radiance. Um, but I've just been doing the pack trick for the longest time just to make it more fun for myself. I actually do the pack trick when I open cards alone and off camera as well. Just because, I don't know, something about opening a pack, spending $4 on a pack, and then just just 
going straight to the poles and being like, oh yeah, no, it's not a good hit, whatever. <clears throat> it's just not the, um, it's not, not as fun, not as fun. And you don't feel like you get your $4 worth of fun and suspense if you do it that way. Hoot hoot. Cricket Hot. Pesuian Samurott. Next up, Astral Radiance. So far, the only really good pull we got out was out of the other Astral Radiance. So maybe we can get something again. Got the uh, code card going out. Fang Gang, one, two, three, and four to the front. <clears throat> All right. Got that Crescent Moon Energy, Wait and See Turbo, Shielden, uh, Celine, Silen, Silen? I don't know how to say that one. Mischievous, Barboach, Ponyard, Eevee, Heracross, Eevee, again in the reverse. Very nice. Okay. Is this the loose one? Where's our loose one? I think it's this one. I can't remember. I can't remember. They all feel kind of loose, to be honest. Let's see what we got here. Three more packs. Then we have one more uh, of these bundles to open up. Code card going out. One, two, three, and four. What happens if I do this? Five, six. Boom. Starting off with the Radiant Jirachi. There we go. Now we're talking. And a Ho-Oh. Look at that. The first time I do the Pokefang pack trick, we end up with a double banger. Some double up on the fire and honestly guys i have no idea where the prices are at with some of these uh hyper rares these these rainbow rares um last i checked they were very very cheap and then i heard that they were going up in price because they were no longer going to be uh in any of the new sets so it could be anywhere and i'm excited to see when i go ahead and edit the video and start adding those prices in uh what we end up with so good luck ghosty energy looks like i did the pack trick flop bunny Quadstone, Regenerative Energy, Snorunt, Sandile, Fennekin, Murkrow, Beldum, Esper Reverse. No way! No way that just happened. Are you kidding me? No way. We just got the best card in the set from a $20 Costco tin. I, my mind is literally blown right now. That is insane. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Look at that. That is a beautiful card. The only downside with the artwork on this one is that it's very dark. See, you could see that it's off center, left to right on the back a lot more than you can on the front, especially on video, it's not really coming through, but in person, this side looks a lot skinnier. Let's go ahead and give you guys a nice close look at that Lugia. My hands weren't so shaky. Read the wind and arrow dive moves right there. I actually don't know if this one's super playable. I don't remember. I know that there's a, a good Lugia Archeop Archeops deck. Cannot believe we just pulled that. And again, I have no idea where the price is at with this thing. Um, last I, I think it was like 120, 140. It could be way higher than that and or, or way lower than that at this point. I have no clue. Go ahead and put that right there. Obviously, that's going in a Vault-X. Semi-Rigid, my favorite. It's not sponsored, but I mean, hey, slide my DMs, Vault-X. I would love to collab with you guys. Look at this pack. There we go. It was not opening for, for anything. It was just like holding on for dear life. Okay, there we go. But yeah, like I was saying, Vault-X, slide in the DMs. Love, love, love your products. Uh, we've had some back and forth on emails and, and through uh, Instagram, just on some like general customer service stuff. But overall, just really, really happy with the products and really happy with the way you guys are evolving the company. Uh, if you don't know, I work in marketing. I'm a creative director of the marketing department for the direct to consumer brand that I work for. And uh, that's my thing, man. So if you're in the, in the market for a creative director, let me know. Uh, Fanfi and Parisian. Oh, I cannot believe we pulled an alt art out of these $20 boxes, man. What an incredible deal. Just so, so good. It's like my least favorite part of this box is trying to get the lunchbox part out. There we go. All right, let's just go ahead and get the packs out of these. We did not get scammed on the, well, we did get a loose coin, but we did not get scammed on our Growlithe this time around. How, how does that happen? They must make these things so fast. They must literally like just fly through making these things. There you go. The rest of this stuff, guys, if you're wondering what I do with the rest of the stuff, the little mini binder and the stickers and stuff that are in here, I'm gonna be packaging all this stuff up, all these little goodies that come with ETBs. That includes like sleeves and everything. 
and uh, I'm gonna be uh, pairing them up with some of the new Pokemon uh, trick or trade packs uh, and giving it out to some of the trick or treaters this year. Last year I did that with all of the binders, the little mini binders that I ended up with. I just threw a pack in there uh, inside the mini binder and uh, gave those out as treats for uh, trick or treaters because Halloween is one of my favorite things. I miss being a kid and going out and doing trick or treating. Honestly, like some of the best memories I have, me and my family aren't super close anymore, but when I was a kid, those were the best years of my life, was just going out and doing trick or treating on Halloween. All right, which is why I like spooky stuff. Honestly, like my best my best childhood memories have a lot to do with spooky stuff. And that's, that's why we're here. That's why Haunter is my favorite Pokemon. That's why everything is purple. That's literally my life story probably the shortest i've ever told my life story but that's that pretty much sums it up all right we got a leaf energy again i think that was the last thing we got less of sparkle beware skaters park growlithe phalanx morpeko we got smeargle quillfish galarian cursula Ooh, and a gorbis i was really hoping we we're gonna get something like out of pocket just crazy from that last um, Fusion Strike because I just have incredible luck with Fusion Strike usually. All right, code card is backwards. One, two, three, and four. Let's go five, six. Let's see what we got here in Lost Origin. Anything in the trainer gallery? No, we got a C dot. And, oh man, I was hoping for something spicy. But I mean, we did get an alt art, so I can't complain, but we did get some fire again. Last couple packs here, guys. Coming down to the wire. If you have not smashed that like button already, make sure to do so. Let's see. Oh, I think I saw something gold. I think I saw something gold, you guys. All right. And what is this? This is Astral Radiance. What's gold in Astral Radiance? I don't even know. There we go. All right. Like I said, make sure to smash that like button for some good luck. Hopefully, it's something spicy. We will do the regular pack trick on this one to see what we have in here. I'm fairly certain I saw gold. It could have been one of the trainer galleries that's like that black and gold, but I'm not entirely sure until we get to the end of this pack. We got Z uh, Zisu, we got Basculin, Voltorb, Glammeow, so I can still see some gold. I'm pretty sure it's a regular gold in the rare slot. Shout out to All right, here we go. Not bad and not bad at all so far on these packs. Oh, it's the trekking shoes in the gold, which honestly, I think this was a really, uh, playable card in the meta at one point. Uh, so very nice gold card pull and an alternate art out of these tins. Definitely glad that I got them. Definitely glad I opened them too. Sometimes I will grab stuff like this and just throw it in the sealed collection or save it for later. There we go. Code card going out to the fan gang. One, two, three, and four. A couple more packs, so we're gonna slow roll them. We got water energy. Very nice. Her ugly. With the sea. Energy Lotto, Nickit, Hippopotas, Cyndaquil, my dog just jumped off the bed, it distracted me, Quillfish, Growlithe, stole my Growlithe, the same Growlithe, literally the same Growlithe, just not in the Cosmos Hollow, stole it. Bronzong, Exterminate, if you guys know Doctor Who right there, and Vespaqueen, there we go, not bad, Trainer Gallery, three more packs, three more, no, six more shots. Imagine getting three double bangers in a row. That would be insane. But already this opening has been insane. So much fun. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and tuning in to another episode. Here we go. I have a couple more formats, new formats of uh, videos coming out. I'm sure you probably saw. Recently, I did a video that was just about cards in an upcoming set. Um, it went pretty well. I wanna say the editing of that one was really, really hard on me. It took me a long time to try and make sense of all the stuff that I said when I was talking about the new set. And uh, so it's made it a lot harder and uh, sort of deterred me from doing more of those videos in the future, but I'm working on it, getting better at it. I don't like to script things, but that's the type of video you have to script. So it's just a totally different sort of learning curve. We got an Araquanid, and I think I saw something in the back there. It looks like it could be a V-Star. It's a V-Star Alolan Vulpix. Not, not, not the best. I like Alolan Vulpix. I love Alolan Ninetales. I think it's a beautiful Pokemon and uh, just a, a really nice regional variant. But I think that for this set, I really wish they made Lugia the primary 
uh, mascot for it and put it on the, on the ETBs and stuff because I think that would have been really, really clutch. But I know what they did. They started putting a lot of the baby Pokemon on the ETBs and stuff because the new era was coming in and it was going to be very kid focused, which Scarlet and Violet so far has been rather kid focused, I would say. Noibats, Snorunts, which is totally fine for me. I feel like Sword and Shield ran the gamut of making like sort of like cool, you know, the aggressive artwork and just like everything's just fire and rage and super like epic. And uh, I feel like Scarlet and Violet talk, took it way back down to, uh, I guess that like early uh, level of Pokemon that we all grew up with for a new generation, which I, I actually really like. We got Sandy Gast and an unknown V. All right, we got another hit, nothing crazy, but I'll take it. And we're down to our last pack. Last pack, you guys. Can we get some last pack magic? I think we can. I think we can get some last pack magic and I'm hoping that you guys can get something good out of those codes. One, two, three, and four. Four, yeah, there we go. We got a V-Star marker in this one. First V-Star marker of the video, which is kind of crazy to think about. Out of all the, all the packs that we opened that could have V-Star markers in them, uh, we ended up getting one right there. Capturing Aroma, and I needed that for a deck I was working on, and I couldn't find one anywhere in my bulk. It was so hard to find, I ended up having to buy them. I'm actually gonna set that aside. We got a more Peko, Quadstone, Dratini. Again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by and opening packs with me. This is so much more fun with a community. Cometitite, Gardevoir, Trainer Gallery, probably one of the better Trainer Gallery artworks from this set. I really like this one a lot. And last pack, last chance, smash that like button for some good luck because we got, ooh, a Forest Seal Stone. Not bad, actually. All right, guys, I'm sure you guessed it, but these are my three favorite pulls of today's video. I cannot believe that we pulled that alternate art. So much fun. I love making these Costco hunt videos. Guys, make sure you subscribe if you like content like this. Leave a like on the video. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, happy haunting.